There are two books that reveal the falseness and paganism of the Christmas celebration. Nowadays, people are more enlightened about the secular holidays more than any time in history. But even with that enlightenment, denouncing the celebration of the obvious paganism of Christmas remains a challenge for most Christians. 101 Biblical Words about the Christmas holiday, certain words in the Bible in relation to the birth of Messiah. 101 Biblical Words about the Christmas holiday looks at words like abiding, angel, anointed, babe, Bethlehem, counselor, David, feast, gifts, glory, God, gold, holy ghost, she, sun, stars, virgin, wise men, Wrapped years and young. These words are explained within the context of the original use. The words Christmas, Christmas caroling, Christmas gifts, Christmas tree, elves, holiday, nativity, and New Year celebration are nowhere to be found in the Bible. These words are purely creations of the religion of men amalgamated into the practice of Christmas. Every single thing in regard to the celebration of Christmas is pagan to the core and fails to satisfy the basic principles and precepts of the Bible. Amalgamated into the practice of Christmas. Every single thing in regard to the celebration of Christmas is pagan to the core to satisfy the basic principles and precepts of the Bible. Pagan 2020 The reason Christmas is pagan is because the definition of paganism fits the practice of Christmas. Early 4th century Christians associated the word pagan as it related to people in the Roman Empire. Ancient Romans practiced polytheism, essentially the belief and worship of multiple gods. Polytheism is at the heart of the Christmas observance in this regard. By definition, Santa Claus is a god, nonetheless false, but a god to everyone who believes in him. The evergreen tree is worshipped as a symbol associated with the god of Christmas. Mistletoe, wreaths, candy canes, and gift giving are all practices of the paganism of Christmas. Santa Claus has a companion whose name is Krampus. He is actually a devil or the devil that punishes bad children. In comparison, Santa Claus would equal the Christian Jesus who allegedly rewards and gives gifts to men and women. Krampus would equal the devil who punishes people who are bad. But if you noticed one thing, Christmas allegedly honors the supposed birthday of Jesus Christ. The crux of most Christmas stories focus on children, not adults. Santa Claus is for children and Krampus 
punishes children. The white Jesus baby in a manger is reflective of a childlike baby observance. It is not about the resurrected son of man spoken of in the scripture of truth. Shaul put it this way. When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I thought as a child. I reasoned as a child. But when I became a man, I did away with childish matters. Matter, matter. Corinthians Aleph 13, 11. These facts undoubtedly qualify the Christmas observance and practices of Christmas to be 100% pagan. The ideally good Santa Claus, the evil Krampus, the idol worship of tree, mistletoe, wreath, and candy cane are all emblems of pagan beliefs and practices. What intelligent thinking and biblically sound person can refute these facts? As revealed in the scripture of truth, the Most High decreed the following. Hear the word which Yahweh speaks to you, O house of Israel. Thus said Yahweh, do not learn the way of the Gentiles, and do not be awed by the signs of the heavens, for the Gentiles are awed by them. For the prescribed customs of these peoples are worthless. For one cuts a tree from the forest, work for the hands of a craftsman with a cutting tool. They adorn it with silver and gold. They fasten it with nails and hammers so that it does not topple. They are like a rounded post and they do not speak. They have to be carried because they do not walk. Do not be afraid of them, for they do no evil, nor is it in them to do any good. There is none like you, O Yahweh. You are great, and great is your name in might. Yirmiyahu chapter 10 verses 1 through 6. The facts prove the historical origin of the Christmas observance, and the scriptures declare the truth of Yahweh. And Eliyahu came to all the people and said, How long would you keep hopping between two opinions? If Yahweh is Elohim, follow him. And if Baal, follow him. But the people answered him, Not a not word, a word, a word. Malachim Aleph 1821 First Kings Christians answer not a word about the falseness and idolatry of Christmas. They follow the all. This is H.S. Yaakov, his bond servant and watchman. Shalom wa barawak akwa akwa to the esteem of the Most High Elohim Yah. A lie in lamb's clothing reveals the complete ramifications of one of the greatest lies created by man and influenced by the enemy of man, Ashatan, also known as Satan, 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 Devil, Satan. The new chapter edition, White Washed Christianity, looks deeper into the entire imagery of color that accentuates the Christian religion. The in focus is that the celebrated practice of on December 25th is unequivocally wrong in regard to the true Messiah and Savior of the world.